In this video, we'll discuss calculations with an orthogonal basis. The problem is to find the coordinates of the vector u with respect to the following orthogonal basis for R3. First thing I'd like to do is just give names to these three basis vectors here. Let's call them v1, v2, v3, and then we can say let u equal c1, v1 plus c2, v2 plus c3, v3. Since b is an orthogonal basis, there's a fast way to find these coefficients c1, c2, c3. To get c1, we're going to take the dot product of u with our first basis vector and divide it by the dot product of that basis vector with itself. So dot product of u with v1, that's going to give us negative 8. And divided by the dot product of this guy with itself, that's going to give us 2. And that tells us that that co first coefficient is negative 4. We can do something similar to find c2. This time we'll take our vector u dotted with our second basis vector, and that's divided by v2 dotted with itself. Dot product of u with v2 is going to give us 14, and v dot v gives us 3. So that second coefficient, 14 thirds. And finally, to get c3, we'll take u dot v3 divided by v3 dot v3. Calculating the dot product of u with v3, we get negative 2. And v3 dotted with itself gives us 6. So if we simplify that fraction there, that's minus 1 third. That's our third coefficient there. So we've now found the coordinates of u with respect to our basis. We could say u is equal to negative 4 times our first basis vector plus 14 thirds times our second basis vector minus 1 third of our third basis vector. If we wanted to check this, we could write out our vectors explicitly. Notice that when our basis is orthogonal, this type of calculation is very quick. I'd like to point out that if our basis were not orthogonal, then we would solve that system of equations c1v1 plus c2v2 plus c3v3 equals u using Gauss-Jordan elimination, um, and that would usually be a much longer, more involved process.